Hi sweet friend, welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be painting a watercolor ice cream cone. We'll start by uh, adding a layer of water first in the ice cream area and then dropping some color inside. So right now I'm using ultramarine violet. Of course you're welcome to use any other color. And I'm essentially, you know, after adding a layer of uh, kind of like a, a thin layer of water, a glaze onto that area. I'm dropping in the color starting with the right hand side because I'm going to have a highlight on the left side. So essentially my light source is going to be from the left and uh, because of that I'm starting to add more color on the right hand side as you can see here. So it may take you a couple of more uh, brush strokes to get the color more saturated. Of course, uh, after you allow it to dry, you'll notice, you know, watercolor typically dries a little bit lighter than what we see right now. Um, so you can always add a second layer to kind of punch up the colors a little bit. Uh, but definitely allow this first layer to dry and then proceed to the next color. So next I'm grabbing my yellow okra color from the palette and I diluted it with a couple of droplets of water and now I'm working with the wet on dry technique. So I did not add a layer of water first but I'm painting directly into the cone area and I'm again kind of keeping in mind that there's a highlight on the left side and I'm either lifting off a little bit of color off on the left side and also at the same time dropping additional color, uh, that yellow okra on the right hand side to kind of um, have that con nice contrast between the highlight and the part that's more in the shadow. After you've painted the cone, definitely allow the whole area to dry completely before proceeding to the next step. And the next step we'll be using uh, a little bit of raw sienna diluted with water. And we'll essentially be painting tiny little square-like shapes to showcase the texture of the cone. And you'll see here, so in my initial sketch I, I did kind of uh, outline, you know, did a, that crisscross pattern that you, you'd see on the cone so that I can have kind of those designated areas of where those little tiny squares will go. Uh, but essentially, um, after you paint over with the yellow okra, the cone, allow it to dry, then we can add in the raw sienna. And you'll notice that essentially it creates like a fun um, cone-like pattern on the ice cream cone. After you finish adding all the tiny little squares uh, in this pattern on the cone, you can also go back in and with a little bit more raw, raw sienna on your brush, you can outline those squares uh, a second time just so that they pop off uh, the page a little bit more and make um, the ice cream cone look even more realistic. Thank you so much for watching sweet friend if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my book called watercolor snacks i'll link to it in the description below until next time stay creative